on lesson three, exercise six, it's asking us to look at the code that sets the color, which is right here. We have fill blue, and then we want to change the color from blue to yellow. So we can do that by clicking on the drop down arrow and then selecting yellow. You can also uh, click inside of the quotes and type in the color as well. Then it's asking us to add a new square by dragging a rectangle block, a rect, R-E-C-T block, into the code area below the fill command. So we can go ahead and place it in here. And it says the square can go anywhere on the screen we like, but we can also hit show grid to decide exactly where we want it. Now, if I'm gonna make it look like this picture here, I can go ahead and set it right here, which would be 100 for the X and 200 for the Y. So I'll go ahead and adjust this last rectangle I just added. Click in here so I can change the numbers. 100 for the X, 200 for the Y. And then if I run it, it shows up just like the picture. Uh, but like it says here, you can put it in a different place if you'd like. I could do 250 for the X and 200 for the Y, and then we put it over underneath the other one. So if we move along to exercise seven, on exercise seven, uh, it's asking us to make these shapes match. So if we run it how it is now, we see that we've got red in the background, blue in the foreground, and this is it's opposite. It's got the one over here in the foreground instead. So we've got green in the foreground and blue in the background. So in the instructions, it tells us to look at the code that draws the two rectangles. The first is drawn red, the second is drawn blue, and we need to change the red's rectangle's color to green. So if we change this fill from red to green, we can click on the drop down menu again, and then we need to change the order so the green rectangle appears on top. Now the code makes it so that anything that happens happens in order. So this is gonna happen first, it's gonna change the color to green, then it's gonna draw a rectangle at 175, 175, then it's gonna change the color to blue, and draw a rectangle at 200, 200. So that's why it's drawing the red first and then the blue. Now what we'll need to do in order to change the order is we'll need to take this fill green and take it and drop it below the blue rectangle and also grab the RECT command so that we can actually draw that rectangle green afterwards. So if we go ahead and reset it and run it, now green showing on top of the blue. Now if we move to exercise eight, it's asking us, it's telling us we can make an ellipse for a circle. And it's telling us to look at the code that makes the ellipse. So we've got ellipse here. It's teal for the fill color. The ellipse is located at 100, 100. So that's where it's drawn from. The center is at 100, 100 if we run it. Right here, 100 over, 100 down. And then it wants us to add a new ellipse of a different color. So to do that, we'll just go ahead and grab the fill command drag it over here and we can make it orange. You can just highlight what's in there and type orange. But some of the numbers won't show up in the drop down menu. And then we can go ahead and grab the ellipse command, bring it over here. And if we set it 200, 200, it'll be right here in the center. Now, if we move along to exercise nine, it gives us um, some information about how sometimes the code doesn't work we expect it to the first time and we'll have to debug it. So it wants us to look at the code in the workspace and change the code so that it makes the picture on the, on the right. So that it makes this picture with the purple square in the middle of those four circles. So we'll need to adjust that. So right now we've got a rectangle at 175, 175 that's orange. So if we turn our grid on, you can see it's uh, it's starting this rectangle at 175, 175, and it's drawing down. Now the fill color says orange, but that's below. That's for anything below here. Now if we want the fill color to be purple, like it's showing here, purple needs to show up before we draw the rectangle. Um, but as we said in the last exercise, it goes in order from one line one, and it draws things in order. So we actually want the orange ellipses to be drawn first, and then we want the purple square or rectangle to be drawn last. So if we take this rectangle 
and we put it down below the purple, what's going to happen is it's going to draw the orange ellipses, and then it's going to change the color of purple and draw our rectangle. Now we haven't adjusted the location yet, so it's still not 100% correct. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to shift it over here to 150, 150, and that'll give us the proper uh, picture at the end. So we'll go ahead and adjust this 150, 150, and reset it and run it. And there we go. Now we've got this uh, kind of flower looking thing with a square uh, center that's purple. And that's it for uh, lesson three as far as the exercises.